Yes. Good morning and welcome to this hearing of the Committee on Governmental Operations. I am the chair of the committee, Councilmember Fernando Caprera. Today we'll be holding a second hearing and a vote on proposed introduction 828A, sponsored by myself and Councilmember Kalos in relation to, the, to an online list of required reports. City agencies are required to produce various reports, documents, studies, or publication and transmit them to the council or the mayor. The charter requires those reports to also be sent to the Department of Records and Information Services, also known as DORIS, and for DORIS to post these reports on its website so the public has easy access to them. However, as we discussed at our first hearing, many reports appear to be missing from DORIS' website. There is also no way for the public to know if an agency was supposed to submit a report but either hasn't completed it or hasn't sent it to Doris as required. We want Doris' website to be a great resource for New Yorkers who are trying to get information about their government. This bill will make sure it is as transparent and easy to use as possible. Proposed introduction 828A will require Doris to list all required reports on its website and include basic information related to the report, such, such their frequency, the law to which they are responsive, and the agency or agencies responsible. For every report listed, Doris will also have to provide direct access to current and past copies of the report. If an agency does not submit a report within 10 business days of their due date, the bill requires Doris to send a notice to that agency and to post the notice on its website in place of the report until the report is submitted. It also requires the agency to submit reports to Doris in an electronic electronic form rather than sending four copies by paper. Finally, it requires Doris to notify agencies of the report it expects to receive by January 31st of each year. This bill will go a long way to improve the public access to the full universe of agency reports. I would like to thank the members of this committee for their support on this issue and Councilmember Kalos for co-sponsoring the bill. I also want to thank our committee staff, Brad Reed, Elizabeth Cronk, Emily Fort John, uh, and Zach Harris, as well as my own legislator director, Claire McLevain, for their hard work on this bill. And I now ask the clerk to call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, Committee on Governmental Operations, introduction 828A, Chair Cabrera. Aye. Maisel. Yes. Powers. Aye. Yeager. Aye. I vote a four in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstention. Item has been adopted by the committee. Okay, we'll leave the roll call open for another 20 minutes, 20 minutes. Thank you so much to my colleagues.